everyone. This is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California. Before we get to today's topic, please give the Tiny Karma Cactus in the lower right hand corner a poke and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is also from the July 16th, 2019 Council Meeting. It's the presentation of Livingston's new Bike Patrol Officers. According to the chief, the last time there was a bike patrol was about 18 years ago. Now, I can remember police officers on bikes, so I guess I must be getting kind of old. Anyway, have a watch, then tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. And, as always, thanks for watching. Presentations and proclamations. And I believe uh, Chief Chavez brought some some of our fine officers and their and their bicycles. Yes, yes, or I bikes, did. Bikes, I should say. If I can have our our bike patrol officers bring the bikes up, come up front. So a couple of years ago, when the uh, the price of gas went up, we got a horse. Now they're going up again, and I thought we have a we have a couple of horses. Why don't we get some bikes out there too? So they want to wear shorts, Chief. That's what it is. Actually, if you look at the legs of some of those officers, I think they need a little bit of coloring in them. Well, had we known that, uh, can, you, can we drop the lights down a little bit? There's too much of a reflection on some of these uh, officers. <laughs> is that what it is? So anyways, I want to introduce our, our new uh, bicycle patrol officers. And uh, Officer Godfrey was actually out at the uh, Fourth of July Festival on Sunday. And Brandon Butler, Gage Johnston, and Robbie Hazelwood. And these officers are going to be responsible for patrolling the city on this bike. Yes, they will be riding around the city on bikes. And I, I, I'm going to say this is not the first time we've had this uh, bike patrol detail. It actually about, I want to say probably 18 years ago or so, uh, Captain Soria was actually uh, the sergeant in charge of it back then. And we haven't had a bike patrol unit for that long. And so now we're very fortunate to have uh, Officer Godfrey take on the, the, the role of, of ensuring our officers are safely trained to ride and patrol this, the uh, city. And if you don't know, it takes quite a while to learn how to trade. I mean, I know it's a bicycle, but to safely patrol a city um, on bikes, riding around, if you have to chase somebody, if you have to jump off your bike, if you fall, you don't want to get hurt. So there's a lot going into riding these bikes, and it takes uh, at least a week um, to, to learn how to ride them. They're all going to be trained. Officer Godfrey went through the train the trainer uh, for, for riding the bike. And so I'm going to turn it over to him and let him talk about some of the benefits and, and some of the ideas that we have for our city. As the chief mentioned, my name is uh, Officer Jeff Godfrey. Um, I have attended the... Uh, train the trainer course. I've been a police officer for 20 years and I have experience in patrolling different communities in, in on bicycle patrol for that matter. So the benefits to the city of Livingston and the citizens of Livingston uh, with a bike patrol unit are first and foremost, you know, community outreach. I mean, we will be out in the crowd within the businesses, within the communities, being able to relate and, and converse and interact with our community uh, in, in a more personal way. Uh, secondly, being able to work patrol on a bicycle in groups like this, uh, as far as crime suppression and crime prevention, uh, there's nothing else like it. Uh, for us to be out and about in the, in the streets and in the city of Livingston um, in the dark, uh, being able to you know, sneak around in the cover of darkness, interrupting people who are out to victimize our citizens with burglaries, thefts, things like that, there's nothing better to be able to sneak up on somebody than a silent bicycle. They're looking for cars, they're looking for police officers and cars. Being on a bicycle and being able to sneak up on them using the cover of darkness, going through fields, neighborhoods, things like that, we can sneak up on them and be on top of them before they even know we're there. So being able to do that, um, and you know, I, I mentioned the community outreach aspect, I mentioned crime prevention, you know, physical fitness aspect of it, I'm not gonna lie, is, is a great aspect of it as well. So for us to be able to go out and be involved with our community, uh, we're more approachable to young people and to other people in the community. 
we're more accessible to them. So they will feel, you know, maybe less intimidated to walk up and say hi to us and interact with us. It gives us an opportunity to be able to, you know, break down that barrier, that potential barrier if there is one, and let them know that there is a face and a personality behind the badge that we wear, and they will be less apt to maybe be hesitant or scared to come up and talk to us. So expect to see us around. We're gonna be out and about in pairs. Uh, we have training at the beginning of August. Uh, but after that, as soon as we get out and about, you'll see us around. So if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to stop us and, and ask us questions. Thanks, Chief. Thank you, uh, Jeff. And, and um, I think uh, you talk about fitness. Uh, I know uh, Corporal Hazel, what I was talking about, he gets to have the extra donut. So I think that it is a benefit to making sure they work out. And uh, in Mayor, we're looking for our first uh, ride-along. So we've got a helmet for you. If you want to... No, I'll, just, I'll be more than happy to take one of the bikes and put those two extra wheels in the back. There you go. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, anybody want to say anything? Now, I, I can't see the whole thing, but do they have uh, helmets? Well, they have helmets, not with them. Right they? So they, they wear rode their bicycles here without helmets. No, they pushed so them. They pushed them. You got, you got they pushed them. Oh, pushed them. Okay. Just want to make sure, you know. <laughs> so anyways... Thank you, and uh, again, we look forward to having these guys patrolling the city to keep us safe. So, yeah, a little demo. On the streets, we have to abide by all the rules of the road just like everybody else. So we have to meet the vehicle code specs, and we have to have certain equipment on our bike in order for us to go out and patrol just like anybody else. We, we will have the same uh, pieces of equipment on this bicycle that we would in a car. Uh, in order for us to stop somebody lawfully, we have to be able to meet the guidelines set forth in the vehicle code section. So um, stopping somebody on a bicycle is no different than stopping somebody in a car. Uh, they have to comply and they have to stop just like anybody else. So you'll hear a siren, you'll hear uh, lights and all that kind of stuff too. So, so and, and I'm not sure if, if can you get like a, a, like a water tank with a water hose in case the fire department wants to have a bike unit? Brian, you're a good man. Chief, you yes, really sir. want to get into this thing with fire department again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's I mean, right. We're going to play the fire department in October, so we'll, we'll beat them again then. So. Yeah, only if it doesn't rain, right? If it doesn't rain. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> All right. Th thanks, guys.